on previous episodes, we always talk about the family aspect of tequila. So your dad is the master distiller on your website. It says you're an apprentice. Are you still an apprentice? Yeah. Ooh, good so, question. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm curious about that. So did you always want to get in tequila or did you want to be a doctor, but then, you know, your dad's this master distiller with tequila and you've been around it forever. So how, how, like, how easy was that for you to transition to that? Or you just always wanted to do that? He, want, he actually wanted to be an astronaut, but he's, he's, yeah. he's, getting, he's getting hot. <laughs> well, you know, it's, um, you know, I'm, I'm still an apprentice. I hope my dad doesn't hear this, but <laughs> when I say it is because I, I still don't have a big belly. I don't have a great hair, great, great hair, and I don't have a mustache. <laughs> so Not yet. Because how many treatments I use, it never comes out, you know. Um, you know, it, was, it, it wasn't easy because working with your dad in the beginning is not easy because you're always fighting to each other about opinions, about the way you do things. But I think at the end, in this place, because since I was even at eight years old, I was in the factory, you know, and you get all these smells in your head, all the aromas. And then I got to say some of the glasses that my dad had in, in his desk. And I always try to guess, or like, you know, a little bit of sipping, and I will be like, this tastes like the way the tank number two smells like. And then he'll say yes, because of, and then he'll give me all the, all the explanations. At the end, you know, he's one of the big boys in the industry in terms of the pedigree that he has, right? And, and when you see that, and you see that all of his classmates from the engineer college, you know, like the second generations are not really into it. So I'm the only guy who's always sitting around their meetings asking like for knowledge, basically, yeah. like what have you done, why did you do it, la 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 la. And then it's kind of a, 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 a respect thing to honor the knowledge of the generations that are ahead of you and being able to get all that into you as a person and as a knowledge and be the sequel, you know, and not only of my dad, but all the other great master distillers. And being able to represent that as the as the word, um, it's it's basically an honor and also a challenge, you know, because being able to question your dad or other master distiller uh, things just by asking them, it's kind of surprising how many different answers you will get, and then you as a new generation you get to translate that into a more normal language, you know, or into a new technology into the distillery. So in the beginning. It wasn't easy, but then when we start like understanding the different abilities that he has and I have and the strengths and opportunities, and then we translate it into a uh, teamwork. And then when you enrich all of that with the perspective of Nick, James and Eric from other countries, and then they bring more light into your eyes, then you see that there's definitely something interesting to do in terms of spreading the word uh, of, of good agave or good tequila around the world. So, so, you know, it wasn't easy. And, but now it gives me the chance to personally be more with my dad, traveling, getting to know uh, each other better, seeing him drunk or he seeing me drunk, you know, like all these kind of things that we never did before. Now it's fun. And at the same time, it's, it's your job, you know? So it's, it's great. Yeah. Well, it sounds like you're very passionate about it. So I guess you're probably never gonna become an astronaut. Uh, <laughs> well, it's too too, bad. it's too old now, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but yes, I'm too old for that. Yeah. Right. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks, for, thanks again for taking the time out. I appreciate it. It was great Thank to have you. this conversation. The tequila yeah. always tastes better when you're talking about it. So. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> All right. Y'all have a good one. Come on. Thanks,